great to see like a midlife crisis haircut. I mean, I guess you can kind of see it, but so I chopped the sides off and I didn't touch the top at all. <laughs> so look at this. Look at this. What do you guys think? Hmm? What do you think? I'm just gonna wear my hair like this. <laughs> Yeah? A uh, Yeppers? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna it's don't worry, it's gonna stay back. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, homeless wizard. I mean, that's sounds good to me. Uh oh, we're going up against the golf master. Oh god. We're probably in trouble here. I'll take homeless wizard. Almost wizard for 9,000, please. Yeah, I might I might wear it parted. I think that's the most disgusting. I mean, you probably get more if you're a homeless wizard. I mean, come on. That comes with more power. Let's see what the golf master has. <laughs> I mean that's true. Yeah, you won't you won't be homeless for too long. That that is true. Man, you're me. I got my uh the the viewer thing for Twitch. You know, like what streams have you watched and blah 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 blah, all that stuff, you know? And uh, my most watched stream was 44 hours. I haven't been on Twitch hardly at all. The Twitch recap was terrible. Why? Didn't get the results you wanted. Looks good. Shot. Yeah, I think the like I don't even know how much I watched you before. It was probably a lot. This year, though, it was nothing. Last year, I gave you a number for all the emotes you use, like top 10, and how many times you use it. I got that. 
They didn't count global emotes this year. Uh, yeah. Because I didn't have any global emotes on there either. Because I'm sure lol would probably have been the, the most. I had my own emotes on there. Dude, mine was funny. My most watched stream, 44 hours, was uh, Jimmy Boredom. Second place was Summit 1G because, like, I was watching him play CSGO 2. Uh, third watched was when I had on uh, Asmongold's second channel, Zach Rar, as, like, background noise five months ago. Uh... And I think fourth was Seamount. So no hot tub streams for me. I can't wait to watch naked streams. So you guys, I'm I'm fucking pumped for it. Yeah, a little Keck W. I use that a lot too. My man is a golf master. Yeah, they updated the, the they updated the rules today. I'm actually extremely curious to see like what like what boundaries will we get will get pushed. Also, for the record, like I could care less about the rule changes. No, I will not partake until they allow naked yoga on the site. I will not partake until naked yoga. When naked, naked yoga gets put onto this site, that's when I will start. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, that's... I, I could start pushing boundaries. Once naked streams go live, yoga will be a part of it. Well, they're not... So they're not allowing naked streams, you know? It's not like you can't just show up butt-ass naked. That, that's not what they're doing. But they're getting very creative. They're getting very, very creative. Yeah, and then so then uh, there was like a like a, a four one one to that too, where it was like artistic nudity is you can draw stuff. That doesn't mean that you can just show up naked. I guess I don't know. Somebody replied who works in Twitch's legal department or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it was about, but because people did ask the question. Cause then people were like, "Oh, so I can, I, I so I can, uh, I can just get like my uh, avatar, like, uh, fuck." fuck, the the, what are they called? VTubers. So I can just get my VTuber uh, like model avatar to. Just show up on stream naked, and they're like, no, VTuber, like, actually counts towards IRL stuff, and I don't know. From the way that it sounded, if you want to draw a big ol' fucking veiny dick, 
You can do that now. That's the, from the the way it sounded. Not on mine either. <laughs> I'm 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 all I'm all for the chaos. I am all for the chaos. Bring, bring me all of the chaos, dude. <laughs> And also, personally, I just don't care. If people want to flop their dick out and flaunt their tits around on stream, I could, I, I could honestly care less. He's gonna get it right back. God damn it. That's all right. We got a good one brewing. <laughs> it was funny. There was a clip floating around that I saw on Twitter. It was Asmongold. Somebody in his stream was like, all these titty streamers are taking my views or something like that. <laughs> they, they, were, they said something. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to butcher what he said. But it, was, <laughs> it was something like, anybody who thinks this is just like a small jaded streamer they're just jaded because nobody wants to watch their 35-year-old balding, boring ass play video games. And uh, instantly I thought, like, oh, fuck. That's me. Shit. But I'm not jaded. I don't think like that. I don't really give a shit. But, oh, my God, this shit cracked me up. Like, oh, I'm, a th I'm, a I'm the 35-year-old slightly balding, boring <laughs> fucking game creator. Damn it. He's talking about me. Oh, you want to see some ads? Okay, Opep, we can do that. Hey, hold that thought, Rue, okay? You guys are going to see 60 seconds of ads because Opep wants everybody to see ads. You can avoid these ads by subbing to the channel using your own money, using a, uh, a subscription with the Twitches of Primus, uh, or you can uh, have Ad Blocker or Twitch Turbo. You can do that, too. If you don't have any of those things, here is one minute of ads. If you don't like it, uh, I don't know, blame Opep since he's the one who chose to do it. Just win, baby. That's right. Just win.
It's a perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> Nobody was getting there anyways. Now that I'm back on Twitch, I should probably redo the, uh, the points. Also, I love the way how you, uh, frame that, Rue. <laughs> I respected myself less. <laughs> True, no self-respecting person would stream. Oh, this game sucks. Huh? Man, this game sucks. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. Oh, streaming like like that that. I got you. I got you. Also, I feel like if you're gonna stream that like that like that type of content, like why not make just an OnlyFans? Like you'll make so much more money. So much more. Why stop at the stream? When's the day before stream? They took it off the market. Twitch's discoverability is better than OnlyFans? Yeah, but you do the Twitch content. You do the Twitch content, the YouTube content, and you push everybody to your OnlyFans. See what I'm saying? Oh, that was bad, wasn't it? That was real bad. And it's also just such a bummer, too, Opep, because... You can see that so many people are hungry for a game like that. Yeah, I know. Smart. It is smart. Oh, I'm sure there'll be some sort of lawsuit, probably. Well, I mean, yeah, but you could sue them, but... I guess, too, the thing is, like, what's the point in suing them? It's not like you're gonna get any fucking money. I know, I saw that Robocon. That was bad. Yeah, I know there's links and everything you can do. Also, the whole thing about, like, like they're, they're making it so that, like, things aren't on the front page and stuff like that. It's not actually recommended to you. Um, which I think is good. I think those are good changes. So I see a lot of people say, like, uh, oh, we shouldn't be subjecting our kids to this kind of stuff. And it's like, 
maybe things have changed. But, uh, if I wanted to watch, like, porn, I wasn't doing it on Twitch, you know? Like, as a kid. And also, like, again, maybe times have changed. But, like, when I was 13, like, I was downloading fucking porn on Kazaa. Like, I don't know. I think the whole thing is just, we don't want our kids to see it. I just feel like it's, like, you just don't want to see it for your own values. Kids will find that shit no matter what you do. Okay, maybe things have changed. I saw a report that kids nowadays are like, well, no, I guess that's a little bit different. Yeah, exactly. Dude, you just you go to any porn website. Are you 18? Yep. You could be 8. L like, come on. Do people really think, like, if, oh, well, if women are flaunting their tits around on Twitch, then my child will never see it. Like, is that what people actually think? By the way, everybody, sit around. We can watch Die Hard for Christmas. You know? I don't know. I just don't give a shit about it. Like, I don't consume that content. I don't. I don't really care. Not showing it on the homepage. Okay. I mean, yay. That's that's a, that's a good change. Not actually like pushing it into my recommended. When I do not consume that content whatsoever. Like, having an actual smarter algorithm would be nice. To push content that I actually enjoy. But, yeah, I just don't... I don't care. And I actually agree with Asmin. Anybody who thinks, like, that these people are stealing their views are... <laughs> boring, balding, 35-year-old gamer nerds. <laughs> People who consume that content are coming to watch me play, all right? You know what they are coming to watch, though? Albatross, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Here we are. That's what everybody's coming to see. 1311. Oh my god, every time I go to the main menu, I just get something, a new pop-up. Thirty-seven and one. Well, it's bad. Alright, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it, room. Go get the OnlyFans name uh, locked in. Don't tell him. No. Easy. They don't know, don't hurt him. Also, it's not even a scam, Robo. You just fucking refund it. That easy. Now, anybody who didn't refund it, yeah, they didn't get scammed. They're just stupid. Steam was accepting refunds 
for up to 10 hours of game time. I like it. He's not going to like it, though. Can't get scammed if you don't buy the game. That's true. Like I said, it's just... Simple. Just refund it. I just think the whole thing was just, ugh, man. They uh misrepresented the game. It was just, goddamn, it was bad all around. fucking game man people are so hungry for that game though that type of game i really hope that somebody like comes along and does it really bad no i was actually gonna look because i i really want to try out the finals too man that game's gonna be huge there's still 120,000 people playing it Five days after release, they're sitting at a 200,000 200, 24 hour peak on Steam. That's so good. I need to get a group of three. Need a group of three to play. What are we taking to this? Three one? Yo, what up, Luigi? That's Mr. Asshole to you, okay? Yeah, do yeah, it's doctor asshole to you, all right? Oh, it's going to be short. Oh, it'd be a shame if it rolled all the way back down. Oh, it would be a shame if it rolled all the way back down. How unfortunate that would be. <laughs> Man, that's fucking brutal. No, I'm driving it until it dies. Damn, that was actually a fucking really good putt. I'm hoping that it makes it through the winter. Uh, I don't know if that'll be the case, but that's the hope.
fuck. Oh my god, that's lucky. By the way, I'm probably gonna have a like a 45 minute video coming out on this game. The script is starting to get uh, abnormally long. Uh, every game since the golf club too, I've kind of done like a things you'd like to see kind of video. So I'm doing a retrospective for this game and like uh, kind of moving into things I would like to see for the next iteration. It's usually a good way to for people to voice uh, like things that they want for the game too, because videos usually get. Like, my videos for that usually get in front of, like, devs and shit, so. Yeah, better servers. Less connection problems. I mean, they seem to have a fix. I haven't had one disconnect. I'll probably get seven now, but. That has actually been good. I know. Yeah, I know. We're probably fucked now, but. My internet's probably going to go down for. Three weeks now. Jesus. It's a fucking missile. Pow pow. Nice. It's a good shot. I can't believe I'm 37 and 1. Gone from bogey 1 to Albatross 3 in what? 5 streams? That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, Luigi, I know I was like two weeks late, but I got you content on YouTube, okay? Release that video just for you. Oh, well, f f okay, fuck you then. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you and uh, everybody else. <laughs> Oof. That didn't sound good. No, we were actually talking about this. Uh so like I was I was actually kind of nervous to start making content again and putting it out because unless you have like a really large following, once you stop making videos, like for a couple of months, two, three, four months, YouTube kind of just stops recommending your content to people.
Like, even people who are subscribed to you. Like, they just stop putting in the recommended. So it's like, because YouTube, the algorithm looks at it as, well, they're not watching your content anymore because you haven't been making videos. Uh, they're not watching your content anymore, so obviously they don't want to watch you anymore. So, like, for me, it's, uh, you know, building it, build back up again. And I knew that that was going to happen. Make up my damn, make up my mind about what? What am I making my mind up about? Are you in or out? Well, I'm back in now. For now, man. You know, I kind of respect this guy. Just he's like drawn and fading into everyone, and nice. Take it. Don't put the pressure on a little bit. Pot. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was almost a fucking absolute dart. Shit. That's not gonna be an easy putt back. Alright, maybe he misses it and we win. Hit it too hard. He almost did. That was actually close. Hey, why is the guy's eyes closed? Did that look cursed to anybody else? Damn. Hit the hill and bounce back. I mean... What about now? Shut the fuck up. The fucking pressure's on. All right. Shit. This is the winner right here. I missed her. Fuck. Don't call the comeback. Do not call it a comeback. All right. All right.
Here we go. Can you make it there? It's gonna be close. I put myself in a real bad situation with my slow that I just hit. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna put on the tryhard pants for these last ones. I mean, we take those. Look, was it lucky? Absolutely. Am I going to take it, though? 100%. All skill. Absolutely. Just how I drew it up. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Too hard. Fuck, he might still have honors here. Well, all right, we got to make this to win. Here we go. That's how you do it. GG, 2-0 today. Let's see what this guy's rank was. Hopefully high. All right. Hey, we'll take 16. Can't be mad at it. We'll take 16. I need to get to 1600. That is what we need before the uninstalling takes place. 1600. We're almost there. I want to do what? Uninstall it? No, once I get Condor, I've literally done everything I want to do in this game. Oh. It'll get put back onto the shelf like it did for the last six months. Now that I can't do duos... Well, I mean, I could do duos, but the ranking system's terrible. <laughs> and then Madden? No, I don't know what I'll play. Definitely won't fucking be Madden, though. I wish sports games didn't suck ass. They're so bad. Like, I'm kind of just, like, over all sports games. Except for Rocket League. Hello, Casey. What about EA? Oh, EA Golf? No. No. There is legitimately nothing to do in that game. Happy holidays to you as well. You know, maybe it'll just be a Fortnite main. Fortnite racing, or uh, 
Rocket Racing, Lego Fortnite, you know? <laughs> Thanks for the 200 bits. Sprinkle on my tits. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Did it? Maybe just nobody's streaming it? Does it not show up in the games category? Like when you search high on life, is it not a game listed? It's probably fine then. Oh, here we go. Back to Twitch. High on life. Nah, it's still there. Nobody's playing it. People are playing Fortnite in it? Yeah, there's nobody's playing it. Which, I mean, makes sense. it into it. Good thing that guy's still off the green and we're a stroke ahead. So I might need it. You could begin to become a Nintendo streamer. I'll probably just continue to do what I do and stream to the you know 15, 30 people who show up and I'm completely content with that. I'd rather do that and play games that I enjoy than play fucking sports games every day. God, that was miserable. I, I have mad respect for people who do it. Oh yeah, but I'm enjoying this, so. That's never going to happen. No, I'm, I'm, uh, once I hit Condor, I'm uh, legitimately done with this game again. Uh, I'll do the video for it. That'll probably be on in a couple weeks. Maybe less. I already got a lot of footage and stuff for it, so, like, I'm good on that front. Just finishing script and recording scripts and cutting that up. Which honestly is kind of a short part of it. You said he got better every time away. Probably shoot like a 40. I don't know about three click though. Oh, look at that. Little orange fitting. What the fuck? I got 40 points for that. Wait, what rank was that guy? How the fuck did I get 40 points? What? 
Whoa, whoa, copy my style here, dinner. Okay, what's this? What the hell is this? Oh, what the fuck? I'll take it. People want to give it to me. Oh. This guy isn't going to give it to us. Sometimes you just gotta hit that fucking thing as hard as you can straight at the hole. Yeah, we're gonna need to dial it in. This guy's coming for all my Scooby Snacks. I already have one loss. We don't need two. What do you mean? Just dialed that thing up to eight inches. Oh, that's not good. Thank you, Casey. You know what is good, though, is uh, this is all light rough. Gotta walk the dog. Roger. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, I thought this was all light. Oh, fuck. Well, that's not great. Got the low side. All right, we gotta get this close. I mean, that was a bad. That was a bad shot. See, probably the worst of the day so far. That worked. Oof! Doors open. Doors open. You had a chance. You had a chance to take one. The door was ajar.
trying to hand this one to you. Hey, I'm not that good. <laughs> Fuck. God, who knows what the fuck this is going to do coming out. Yep. We can make this putt, though. Like I said, we can make this pot. Just got to get me on the green, all right? T to green might not be good. Just get me on the green. Let's see if maybe I can stay out of the rough. Out of the fucking rough. Is it goal to hit Condor or not to? I'm, I'm tr fucking trying here, all right? I'm trying to hit Condor. We're currently, uh... 38? 39 and 1? I can't remember. One of the, somewhere in there. 38 or 39? The game started me in bogey... I think it was bogey 1 that they started me in. Nice shot. I know, right? Yeah, I'm definitely a bogey one player. I went 5-0 and oh and absolutely decimated every single person I played and it put me in bogey one. <laughs> they, they definitely go by... High side. They go... They just... I think they, they wait past seasons a little bit too much. All right, we got one. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I thought it was funny when they placed me in bogey one. It was kind of sad to see that they do the same thing in duos. Like, I wanted to get Condor in both. Like, that was the goal, was to get Condor in both. And I played with Seamount, who's already Condor in duos. And it was pairing us up against fucking bogey and par players in duos. It's like, oh, well, this is just busted in half. Okay. That was, that was a little disappointing. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. Simon asked me, too, if I wanted to play yesterday, and it's like, no. If we're going to be going up against bogey players, because we were beating them, like, you know, five straight holes. It just, it wasn't fun at all. There's actually a lot of people playing, though. Like, we did the math, and there's probably... There was probably 60,000-plus people who played at least one game of Ranked this season. And uh, there's still quite a few people playing this game. Because, like, when Seamount plays duos with another Condor player, he gets Condor players. Or sometimes Albatross. 
Like, people are actually getting, like, matched up with good matches. Yeah, I would probably say that there's, if I had to guess, like, probably 20,000 people, at least, playing ranked consistently. I don't like this. We're going to try it. I fast the shit out of it. Damn. Well, I've gotten... Every game I've played has been consistent within two ranks. And I'm talking like two of the sub ranks. So like... Eagle 1 plays Eagle 1, 2, or 3. Or Albatross 3, 2. Whatever the fucking ranking system is. But it's been within two ranks all the way. You're gonna like that shot. Nice. Nice to follow, dude. All right, door's cracked open for you again. Time to hit this one home. High side again. You know, I don't know. I, I think I'd rather be high side than low side Larry. Low side Larry's the worst. High side Harry's not too bad. Putting is my only suit. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of a front side pin, looks like. That actually might be a mid pin. I don't know, I can't tell. We'll see with the shot here. A little long. That's going to be an ugly putt. That was a mid pin. Perfect. We do not want to go where he is. A little bit of an uphill putt here. Oh, yeah, it's all side hill. Hey, but just think, you make this. Looks good. Oh, my God. This game sucks. This game actually sucks. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 this, this game, this game sucks. Yeah, no, this game, this game definitely, this game definitely sucks. For sure. <laughs> that's, that's fucking brutal. 
That is brutal. Because that was a really good putt. God, it's drifting way too much. Wow. Uh, what are you going to play after dropping this like Bad Habit? I don't know. I was thinking probably like uh, maybe Rocket League. I've been really having a lot of fun with Lego Fortnite. Like that's actually been a blast. Uh, I might play some of that. There's also like a back catalog games that I want to get to. So I might just go through some uh, random game arc. Zero Sievert has a really big update coming. That I definitely want to get into again. Because that game is phenomenal. I might continue my GC push though in Rocket League. Nice pot. Damn, we go another. Oh, wait, no. This is still the win, isn't it? Oh, we're in Dormy. GG. GG. Good game. Got robbed. 1385. Continue the climb. You gonna pick up Cyberpunk? Yeah, dude, bro. Cyberpunk is so good now. Like, so good. And the DLC is phenomenal. Like, top, top notch. Top notch open world RPG game. Top, top notch. Like, I played it launch week, and, like, it just wouldn't run on my computer at all. And then I just stopped playing it because of it. All the bugs and shit I was running into, too. Hey, Golf Master again. All the bugs and shit that we were running into, like, I just set it down and just never touched it. And, uh, like, I have a video that I'm going to be doing for that. But, I mean, it's probably... Dude, I don't know when that fucking video is going to get done at this point. That's going to be... Next October. You know? But, uh, very good. They've had a really, uh, a really good redemption. Yeah, I could see that. I think it depends on the open world, though. At least for me. Like, I'm that way with, uh, like, Assassin's Creed games. Just because I hate the way that they do open world. But I do better with games like Skyrim, you know? Oh, you haven't beaten Skyrim. Red Dead, I, I got bored just because the story was so fucking lackluster halfway through. Like, I just got bored. I mean, Oblivion's old. That's that dude. That's old. There's some stuff in Oblivion that they did really well that I wish they would have done with Skyrim, like the like more f creativity and freedom with like potion brewing and stuff. Like that shit was great. I love Oblivion. I think Skyrim's my one of my favorite games ever made, and Oblivion's not too far behind it. Leisure Suit Larry, the MMO. On the dance floor.
This is going to be a tough putt. I'm not going to have an easy putt either. Low side. All right, let's not do that. I would say, though, Sekri, like, if, uh... I mean, if that's the way you are with open world games, I don't know if Cyberpunk is going to, like, do anything that's going to, like, blow you away. That'll make you break that mold. Oh, yeah. Just fucking slam that thing in. Fuck. Well, shit. You just got to beat through the break. Yeah, that's all right. We'll chip this in. I mean, the, the door is still ajar because that's a tough, tough putt. This is going to be a... a absolute demon of a chip though oh my god look at this chip I pretty much have to hit the pin I need to land this like right on the edge What the fuck was that bounce? That thing hit and bounced to the right. What? Oh, it just didn't break at all. <laughs> all right, well, well, we'll chalk this one up. That thing didn't break left at all. Just stayed straight the entire time. I guess because of the power I hit with it. Oh, he fucking blasted that thing, though. Dude, blast it on the way back down, too. Have it roll all the way back down. Come on. Damn. Damn. All right. Hmm. Yeah, they don't want the install to happen. You're not going to want to be rough. I mean, bunker's probably better than anything here. Still not going to be an easy shot coming out of there. Not bad. Oh. Hey, don't chip this in, okay? Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. about it okay we get it right back uh oh oh we're good really I even faded that in. That didn't get more to the right? I 
slowed that, and not by a small margin either. I, like, slow slowed it. That's going to be so bad coming up this hill. Got a pretty good lie, though. I don't know if he gets there. 78 to 80, 223 for that, 200 up the hill. Pretty bad lie as well. It's going to have to take a big bounce. All right, we want to be short of the hole here. That's just going to have to do. Because if you're long, this hole... Oh, God. That'd just be death. We might have it. Oh, it just died out. That was the right line. You really do. Dude, you just have to just annihilate the ball into the hole. How close are we done installing? Uh, we are currently in Albatross 3. Does it go 3 to 1? I think 3 to 1, right? Yeah, we're in 3. Is it 3 to 1 or 1 to 3? Fuck, I, don't, I can never remember. We're in the lowest Albatross. Uh, golf fatigue at this point, is that why? Uh, if I wasn't doing another video on this game, I probably wouldn't have reinstalled it in the first place. Uh, I've kind of just, like, accomplished everything I want to accomplish in this game. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't made Condor. So, because I was playing it when the system was kind of... You could just never fucking hit Condor. Um, but I, I don't know, the game's just gotten stale to me. You know, I've been playing the game for so long. Since Golf Club 1. Since beta days of Golf Club 1. Long fucking time. I don't even know. Nine years now at this point. Uh, that the game has just gotten, got, kind of gotten stale. Like, all of the courses look the same to me. Like, it's not like there's any, like, variety. You know, because with the golf courses... Uh, even if I play Master Legend, it like it doesn't. I know you're Kappa. I know you're hitting Kappa with it, but yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I'd rather do that than play the TGC tours. That's about as unfun as anything unfun can be in video gaming. Um, it, like it doesn't help. Like the the course creator has kind of like pushed people into making a lot of courses that just look the same. TGC Tours doesn't help either, though, because everybody just wants to get TGC Tour approved. So that's kind of... I don't know. It's... I don't know. It's just kind of lost its shine to me, this game. No, I won't play... I will not play the TGC Tours ever again. Um, the TGC Tours sucked the fun out of the game for me. Completely and utterly. 100%.
Dare I ask why? A uh, multitude of factors. Uh, for one, it goes back to, you know, every single week, you're just playing the same exact course over and over again. Um, it's legitimately just copy paste with like a, a different green sometimes. It's just it very, the courses have become extremely samey to me, especially with the TGC tours. Because everybody's kind of like pigeonholed themselves in the PGA Tours. Or in the TGC Tours. So that's one. Two, uh, I don't think the conditions are fun for this game. Uh, and I just, I don't agree with the mindset of, you know, let's do very fast, very fast, very fast, very fast, very firm, very high wins uh, every single week because we just need to make it difficult. We just need to make it as difficult as possible. Because when people score 14 under, people don't have fun. Uh, I just don't agree with that mindset either. And also, I don't think there's any competition for me that works for me in the TGC Tours whatsoever. So, I play Elite. I win, or I win enough to go up to Plat. And then I go up to Plat, I get absolutely dumpstered, and then I'm back down to Elite. And then I win Elite, I get back up to Plat. And then I get to plat, and I get dumpster, and I'm back down to elite. Like, there's no competition that's, like, right for me in the TGC Tours. And it just makes it unfun. It makes it absolutely unfun. Where it's like, you're you're playing for top 20s. Usually never winning, but you're playing for, like, top 20s or top 15s all the time for elite. And then when you go up to plat, you're just playing. All you're doing is playing for not getting demoted. Uh, it's awful, it's unfun, and I do not like it. And it sucked the fun out of the game for me. Because you're literally just playing the game to not get demoted. You know you have no shot of winning. You know you have no shot of probably getting in, like, the top 20. You're just playing so that you don't get a demotion mark. It's just zero fun. What up, Fubby? How we doing? Oh, yeah, you play to win. That's why I like this. You know, it's one-on-one. -on -one. If I lose, it's all right. It's on to the next, you know? Yeah, you play to win the game, and you just never win. Yeah, and then you have that. Like, people are like, oh, I need to tank back to Kinetic because I can't compete in Elite or, you know, I don't know. Just, uh, I think the TGC Tours was a lot more fun when I was playing in the CCs, and... You know, when it wasn't, you know, let's create a course to try to keep numbers down for people. Uh, or we were scoring fucking 15 to 18 under every round. I, I, I had more fun doing that. I had more enjoyment doing that. Not. Ah, fuck. Well, I slightly fasted my shot and now I have a 35 foot hill in front of me. That sucks. You know? Shoulda, I shoulda hit it. I shoulda hit it to the three-inch landing zone that they gave me instead. That that never happened. That never happened. I'm not going to get I don't want to get in this conversation again, Mike. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to. I don't want to get in this conversation again. I had this conversation so many times. <laughs> I had this conversation so many times. I had it so much that I literally went through on stream like three and a half years of TGC Tour results. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to. I don't want to again.
You don't have to. You don't have to go away and not say anything. I just. I just don't want to. I just don't want to have the conversation again. That's all. Did that happen though? Somebody got demoed for fifty-five under. <laughs> I hope it did. So that would just kind of be hilarious. It did. Wow. Was that on plat? <laughs> yeah, that's why uh, I'm I'm kind of convinced. I don't think the TGC tours just works anymore. Well, I mean, it works for a lot of people, but it just doesn't work for me. And that's fine. No, it doesn't have to work for everybody. And I'm just one of those few that it just doesn't work for anymore. Unfortunately, without it, you know, like this game just doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't have that draw that keeps me coming back. Like, I could come back and just get Condor every new season, but past that, it's like... The fuck am I playing? Especially since they have a max MMR, which is awful. Like, if they had more stuff, more playlists, stuff like that. It is a it is a revolving door. You have the people who will play it uh, constantly, but yeah, it is a very uh, revolve. It never used to be like that. I don't know what's changed. I really don't know what's changed. Other than the way the courses have, like, kind of swayed to. Like, I don't know what has changed. It could just be burnout, too, from the game. Like, what I've hit. Because it never used to be like that. Yeah, I think the burnout is definitely one thing. Yeah, I think I would like to see them do a three hole and a nine hole. I don't want to see it an 18 hole. I know that there's like, you know, 15 people out there who want 18 hole ranked. Uh, yeah, I do not. I think a nine hole and a three hole would be like beautiful. I want to rank nine hole. I want to rank three hole. I like the duo rank. That's still good. Um, and I want like rank divot derby. I think that would be an absolute fucking blast as well. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how anybody can do that, like Iron Man. Slowly, yeah, it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen for a lot of people. I never thought I'd get burned out of this game. It is, it is great. It is great how this game doesn't come out every, every year. That would be, that'd be awful. I think a big thing too, you know, is uh, like the course designer hasn't seen like major, major updates. It's seen new assets, right? 
Like, they've had new assets. Kind of. But, like, there hasn't been any, like, major upgrades to the game for the designer. That we have essentially just been playing the same exact courses with a different bush in it for six years. Like, I don't think that helps. Or even let's play... Oh, my God. Dude, there's like 10 people who play EA. Yeah, mini golf... They could, they could do so much more. There's so much more that they could do. Also, I don't think anybody plays EA. I know that, like, Steam Charts isn't, like, the the end-all, be-all to how many people are playing. But right now, EA has 160 people playing. 167 is its peak. Yeah, but even, like, mini-putt courses and stuff like that, they're all limited. And they're janky. They're, they're so, like, piecemealed together. Like, if they did, like, an actual, like, something to do with mini golf, I think that'd be great. Mini golf would be the next top golf. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, there's a lot of really popular uh, mini golf games. And the only reason Top Golf, I think, is the way Top Golf is, is because they literally released it and then never touched it. Should be good now. We back? Okay. Yeah, ingest server went down again. That's happened a lot. That's funny. I have my router literally like right next to me, so I can just like look down. Like, oh no, I didn't lose internet. Look over, and it's like, oh yeah, Inches server went down. What is happening? What's it? What's this guy doing? Like just to get closer? I got to hit it. You know, hit it further to get a closer shot? Hey! 
Thank you. What the fuck is that? What? Coxer, thanks for the 400 bits, dude. Sprinkle on my tits. I appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the hat. We added 40 bits to Coxer's cheer. Bonus bits unlocked. We added 20 more bits. What? Why is Twitch giving me eight, 60 cents? The fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not complaining. For Christmas? Yeah, I, I'm, that's what I said. I, I'm not complaining if they want to give me free money. Maybe it is Christmas. I mean, they have the, the snowman there. So, yeah, maybe it is for Christmas. I don't know. They're just giving away money. I ain't going to say no. I'll be like, thank you. Thanks for the money. Appreciate it. Oh, this might be an actual fucking dot. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Couldn't even make it though. What a fucking loser I am. Oh, that's brutal. Look, hey, listen. I'm a big fan of the heartbeat, you know? There is some stuff that I do want 2K to just yoink from EA. Maybe not that, but like the lobbies that they had and shit. Like, I really hope 2K yoinks that shit. Because those lobbies were actually a lot of fun in EA. For like three weeks. Because it was the only thing to do. You know, I haven't I haven't loaded up EA in a while. Maybe I should see what the updates have looked like. Because they have done updates. Ryder Cup was fun, was it? Oh, that's probably over now. They probably got rid of it, didn't they? Are right, you guys ready for the shot of a lifetime here? Get your fucking balls ready. Here we go. Never mind. I was just kidding. Just joshing. Just messing around. modes are there clothes are gone okay that's so they kept everything that's good and it's all right the clothes are gone i wonder what uh hundred new playable characters that nobody cares about 2k is gonna put in for the next game 
What's your guys' guesses? Is it Rick Shields time? You know, maybe they put the who's the who are the 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 kids or guys that they f form and reform and everybody gets mad and leaves and then they reform again. What's the name of those guys? Good good. Maybe they get good good in here. Good goods next. And <laughs> sync, yeah. <laughs> they get end sync in here. <laughs> yeah. Britney Spears is next. <laughs> Make this putt, dude. Fucking just drain O Max it. I'm, I would be curious to be in those meetings to know, like, you know, how many new players those brought in. When all they really needed to do to bring new players in was just put the game on sale. You know? That's all you gotta do. I just hate how they went that route and not bringing actual golfers into the game. I did a few. I did a few rounds with them. Looks good. Oh my god, that guy was an Albatross 3. Here we are. Ah, just so many wasted resources. Why are you installing the game? It's already installed. Or why am I uninstalling the game? I, once I get Condor, there's really nothing left to do. I'll have what I need for my video, and uh, that'll be it. Like, I would keep playing, but it caps out at 2200, which is also just shit. I think what's a big bummer is it used to be... Yeah, I, I would do that, but it's like... Uh, I've played this game for so long, and I've played so many courses of this game... Like, I used to get a lot of my enjoyment out of playing, like, new courses that people released. But I've seen them all. I have played so many courses in this game. There isn't a single course that's like, wow, this is something new. Like, it's just, it's, the designer isn't, it's not built for that anymore. At least not right now. It's just not built for that. Like, I, I've, I have played every single course there is to play. Uh, because I have played... I don't know. It, it's... I It might be in the tens of thousands. It, it is... I have played so many courses. Maybe not tens. It's definitely in the thousands, though. I don't think there's been a single course in, like, the last year where it's, like... Wow! This is something completely new and different that I have never seen before. The designer's way too limited for that. And I used to get my enjoyment out of that. 
But those days are gone and dusted. That's what happens when you've been playing the game series for nine years. Yeah, I do like some of the crazy fantasy ones, too. Every once in a while, you run across those. I don't know where... Where do you find those at? You just kind of have to, like, be lucky to run across them. Reddit, maybe? Somebody just popping into chat, probably, and telling you about them. Oh, Chewbacca finds them? I should ask Chewie where he gets them from. Because freaking uh, Apex finds them, too. He might get them from his Discord, though. Yeah, like the Harry Potter one. That one was really cool. The Hogwarts one. There was a... Uh, there was a, a like a Mars one too, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I've done the Stranger Things. Don't know if I've done Last of Us. Just think how much creativity you could get if you had just something a little bit more like akin to, you know, like Minecraft. You know, just make colored blocks that you can have people draw shit with, essentially. I'm really hopeful that the designer is going to see some uh, some big changes for the next game. I am hopeful about it. They need to lean into it. Like, they, they need to lean into the course designer. Because for the past, like, I don't know, probably five years, it's been more of a, we're a golf game, and, I mean, we kind of have a golf a golf course creator as well. It's just there, you know? They haven't, like, really, like, leaned into it. Like, putting lots of resources towards it. Alan Greenspun. It's a good name. Next gen game will help. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, probably in some form or fashion, yeah. Because you could probably make it so that you're not, you know, capped by the amount of RAM and storage and everything you could do for each course. Oh, I don't think they'll... The only thing they'll probably do is just update to a newer Unity. I 
Like, I don't know what version of Unity this is on. Oh, that actually, that actually fucking carried. And I highly doubt we're gonna get a game on Unreal. No. Oh my, that that's that's so that's so many resources. I mean, maybe if they take a three four year hiatus from the game and put a lot of into it, maybe. No, I don't think they do. I think that the course designer is fully in, ingrained into Unity as well. I don't I don't even know if you could do something like this in Unreal. I mean maybe you can, I have no idea. Would it function the same? And just how long would that take to move everything over? Also, I'm not of the mindset of Unity being this, like, hard-capped. I'm not of the mindset of Unity being, like, this hard-capped thing, either. Because there's a lot of great games that are made in Unity that are very, like, technological, like, savvy in a way. That have a lot of moving parts to it. Want better graphics? Hire more artists. Like, you don't have to move to Unreal to do that. I am curious to know, like, what discussions they've had with Unity doing what Unity did uh, a little while ago. Like, whether that is now a real discussion. And I think if they did switch over, they would maybe they'd maybe they would do something in-house. Like the in-house engine that 2K is on. But I don't know if that engine would work either for like a course creator or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely of the mindset of don't fix what isn't broken, though. Like I said, if you want something to look prettier, hire more artists. Like, that's all you got to do. Favorite game this year? Fuck. Um... I haven't beat Boulder's Gate 3 yet. I'd probably say that. Probably Dave the Diver. That game was a gem. It's 20 bucks. I put the pressure on. 37 footer. That looks really good. Worst game you played. I didn't play a lot of bad games this year. Um... Worst game I played this year. Fuck, I'd have to really think about that. I actually don't know. I'm trying to think of all the games I played and what was the worst one? NHL, maybe? That one was pretty bad, but mainly because I had server issues for 
I probably still have server issues if I tried to play right now. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really play a lot of games I didn't like. And by a lot, I mean I don't know if I played a single one that I didn't like. Yeah, well, Madden's always bad. That's just a fucking given at this point. Essentially, almost all the fucking sports games this year are probably the worst games I played. Fuck. Oh my god, that worked out. Holy. Yeah, because I mainly played a lot of games that I enjoyed. I've become very selective with the games I've played, though. Since I have less time to play them. Yeah, Madden's Madden. Madden is Madden, dude, you know? It is what it is. Gimme! Look at that! Hey, Jimmy, guess what? You were my most watched stream this year. Round of applause for Jimmy, everybody. Thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome in, everybody. Before you get too excited, though, Jimmy, I'll just let you know, I hardly fucking watched any Twitch this year. <laughs> Well, you were number one. Yeah, did make dude 44. 44 hours, Jimmy. You know, with EA and like when that launched, PGA as well. I stopped in for you know some of your track mania stuff. So it's like, yeah, 44 hours. It's pretty good. I lurked a lot, you know, which is what I do. <laughs> yeah, a work week and a little OT, yep. <laughs> yeah, yep. But, I mean, you were on a list. It was you, Summit 1G, you know. Zach Roar. Prestigious company. Damn, look at that thing just pop out and bleed right. Fuck me. So bad. Yeah, your peers. That's right. I don't remember who my fifth was. Fourth was Simo. Oh, Hemo is Hemo. Yeah, if they would have showed hours for everybody else, dude, I don't even know. Fifth place in like 10. I, just, I was not on Twitch a lot this year. Hardly at all. Nice. All right. That's two in a row. That's huge. This guy's pretty good. He's giving us a couple uh a couple of uh gimmies, which I appreciate. I'm drawing so many dicks. <laughs> Dude, you know what I should do? Should make a point redemption to draw a dick. And I just pull up paint and draw a penis. <laughs> Twitch allows it now. Hey, Twitch allows it now. 
Switch allows it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open up fucking Microsoft Paint, draw a penis, and close it out. Oh. oh, that could be good too. That could be really good too. <laughs> oh shit! I think we're onto something here. I can get close too. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, I might do that. I might, I might, I might do that. I might, uh, might ask questions like, "Can I do that now?" Because I'm sure they probably would have frowned upon it before, but I can draw. I can draw it now. I don't think it needs to be labeled either. So. Just a point redemption to draw a penis? I don't know. I think I'm onto something here. I think I'm onto something here. If anybody copies me, okay. The lawsuit's in the mail. All right. I'm going to copyright this right now. Penis points. <laughs> penis points. What's up, Paige? <laughs> he probably could. He did help. All right, we just got to get closer than he got right there. B-Day was good. Yeah, B-Day was good. Had good cake, good food, good movie. That yeah, was good. I should do it. I did, yeah. Got some Coke Zero and some popcorn. It's a good birthday presents. Ought to be 25 again, right? Yeah. Sure wish I was 25. Doritos. What did you just say to me? What the fuck did you just say to me? Doritos alcohol? If you put a link in here, the bot will fucking dumpster you, but... Well, oh, shit. No, oh, there it is. Here, I'll put it in there. Doritos? What am I looking at here? Doritos Nacho Cheese Spirit. In case so you didn't know, I, Sarah, 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 no, 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 in case so you didn't know, okay, <clears throat> you might soon be able to up your cocktail game with an unexpected flavor, nacho cheese Doritos. We're fucked. We're doomed as a species. 
We're absolutely fucking doomed as a species. I'd give a lot to be 25 again. Uh. Yeah, don't worry, Paige. You're just gonna keep, uh... <laughs> that's, that's gonna keep going. You're 25, you wish you're 15. 35, you wish you're 25. 45. I don't know, you wish you were 20 again. Yeah, I'm on my fucking way there. Also, no, I will not be partaking. Oh. I will not be partaking in a uh, nacho cheese alcohol. <laughs> to answer your question. Yeah, as your as your wife turns on trash TV and watches fucking I don't know the Kardashians, you know. That's what I would say. Play those baby games? Lady, you watch the Kardashians, okay? I don't want to hear anything from you. <laughs> oh, not Boogie. Boogie's too busy with prostitutes. Probably great with Mountain Dew. <laughs> Coxer, though, I feel that, dude. My mind is definitely 25, but my body's not that. I'm fine, dude. I gotta, I gotta wake up and do like stretches and shit every day, okay? Like, just to like function. only gonna get worse I don't need to scare you it's just that's the way life is That's that's just aging, you know. You know what you do now? See, you start stretching now in your 20s. You stretch, you do a little weight training, you know, you keep in shape. That way by the time, you know, you get into your 30s and 40s, your body doesn't want to just shut down on you. So you start it now. That's the key. You start doing that stuff now. Helps you in the future. Yeah, you know, I get my I get my eight to twelve thousand steps in every day, you know? Alright. Mm 
we go. That's what I need to do. I need to get a dog so that I walk more. That's a good reason to get a dog, right? See, but that's not that's not a bad way for six four though. Oh, Jesus. Five seven, that's pretty tall for uh that's pretty tall for a girl. This average is like five two? Five three? That's right. Muscle does weigh more than fat. I'll tell you what, when you got a lot of fat, it weighs a lot. <laughs> oh, that's where I'm at. You know, it's, what's really interesting is uh, how sometimes just uh, just the way jeans work. Because, like, my mom is, what is she? She's probably 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, my dad's 5'10", maybe. And, like, I came out 6'2". Makes no sense. You'd think that I would be kind of in the same ballpark. Nope. Nope. Just four inches taller. But, you know, there are some tall people in my family. <laughs> Adopted, probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Probably. I mean, it'd be even funnier if I had, like, blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, like, there's some. There's some tall people. I might be the tallest in my family, like, period. Uh, well, maybe not. Like, I have an uncle who's probably 6'3", 6'4". So, like... I mean, it came from somewhere. Definitely not on my dad's side, because all those people are 5'8 and below. Well, see, you probably got those from, like, genetics, right? Like, my, my mom and dad are dark-haired, brown-eyed. Like, if I would have came out blonde-haired, blue-eyed... Oh, that would have been that would have been something. Blonde hair, blue eyed, and six two. <laughs> then my dad probably would ask some questions. 
Who the, where the fuck, where the fuck did this kid come from? Whose son is this? It's not mine. Yo, will you marry me? God, no. Not just no, God, no. Man, I'm fucking, I'm throwing this into the garbage. Am I married? No. <laughs> Come on, I'm cute though. You just went to somebody's chat and the first two sentences you put was, will you marry me? I do not need any of the mental problems that you have coming into this relationship, okay? I got my own shit. I don't need your shit on top of it. I'll give you my wife. <laughs> oh, man. I hope we get married someday. Well, yeah, I mean, I, everybody wants to, you know, maybe, you know, find somebody and. I don't know about marriage, but at least find somebody. It's not a bad hope to have. That's right. Baby gaming time while she's laying in bed watching the Kardashians. There you go. Yeah, watch a little 90 day uh, fiance. Or how about the, what's the the golden years? What the fuck is it? There's a new reality show where it's like uh, people in their 70s and 80s doing a dating show. <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot what it's called. like the golden years or something like that that's right that could be me yeah dating in my 80s on a on a game show i'm sorry whatever it's called not a game show but Thank you for the 200 bits. Sprinkled on my tits. I appreciate that, Cogster. And no problem. Like I said, hopefully you wear it more than I did. Have a good one, though. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, probably. I actually do like the snowman. Thank you for the 10 bits. Sprinkle on my tits. I 
Now we just gotta keep this up. I think we're 40 and 1 now. 200 points away from Condor. White T trying to give it to me, which I appreciate very much. Oh, it's not White T, it's Whitey. Oh. Damn, go fucking shot from there. Shit. That was a really good shot from there. Boy. Man. I had a chance there. Take a nice little two-stroke lead. I mean, I still might have the chance. He'll probably bury this in my face, though. We yanked that. All right. Do have a shot. It's a putt I've made a lot. Low side, Larry. Yeah, I underpowered it. Wasn't even close. All right, that just means we can end it on the next hole by winning it. Thank you, Paige. We forgot. <clears throat> okay. Good start. Very good start. Knock this close. Maybe even into the cup. And I short it. Oh, it's still good. All right. That's a lot of hypes. crazy that's one of the few emotes might be the only emote that has stayed the test of time since i first had the ability to make an emote i think that's the only one yeah oh and the heart but All right, this is a pretty big tee shot. Perfect. Also, I think I need to switch over to the Twitch alerts so that I can get the extra emotes. Hmm. 
I used to. I just kind of got rid of things as they went. I gotta redo them. I mean, I've been saying I need to redo them for like eight months. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. I mean, he's pretty much gotta make this. He did not. Because I think I can make my putt. Won't be an easy putt, but... Alright, need it. What do we got, five-footer? A four? What up, Scuzzle? How we doing? Four-footer? Good game, man. That was a hell of a game. I was back and forth. He might have been up there. Let's see. Just be a condor. That'd be great. Okay. 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 Another 25. 1465. We are 135 points away. One thirty five. What's my record? 44 and 1. Yes. 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 Come on. Just need like two, three more big wins. 44 and 1. Killing it. <clears throat> what we need is like a high, a high condor and somehow we get lucky and beat them and get like 60 in one wreck. That's what we need. Let's see what Skorsky's got. Why are you uninstalling when you hit Condor? Nothing left to do in the game. I would have achieved my goal. And that is good enough for me. Oh, I really don't want to partial a pitch. Okay, I guess I don't have to. Into the hole? Oh my god, that thing died out. Never mind. Oh, he's putting it! Be number one, it goes by wins. Like, yeah, that's impossible. Somebody has like 800 wins in the game. Which makes me want to throw up.
Like if they had with if they had like an actual like MMR ranked system, that'd probably be a different story. I don't know. I I would. I don't know how. I don't know how they play. They're still going too. I think there's one person that's like at a thousand games played. I have no idea how you do that and still have like anything. I'd probably smash everything. I would Hulk smash everything. That just sounds terrible. I mean, hey, if I guess if you're enjoying the game, I mean, fuck, go you. At the same time. You know? If you're enjoying it that much, yeah, play a thousand games. Fuck it. Nice pot. I did not do the same. Yeah, the, I mean, the timer isn't that great. Okay, door is ajar. The door is ajar. They could put that in, though. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> That's probably something I'll do, too, is uh, I'll probably redo a lot of emotes and stuff now that we're back over here on Twitch. And I'm just better at everything for emotes. <laughs> yeah, it's Zoe's cat. <laughs> yeah. That one will probably go away. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably go away. <laughs> yeah, it's Zoe's cat, Gracie. <laughs> Tough. Cat goes hard. Ooh, somebody's got five wood in the bag. Here we are. I don't see a five wood that often. By that often, I mean seldomly. <laughs> I'd right, strain this. Nice. Two shot lead. Here we are. Fuck, we might actually get Condor tonight.
I get 20 per. We need 140. Seven more games? Eh, maybe not. If we start getting some big ones, that'd be great. Like I said, we need to play people who are up above me. This person has an interesting bag. A bunch of hybrids, a five wood. I don't even think they had a three iron. It's a very interesting bag. Get it up there nice and close, shall we? Yeah, it is. Huge game. I hope I'm out of work. Oh, in time to... Watch the start of it. I don't know if I will be, though. We'll see. <laughs> uh, for fucking Christ's sake. Man, yeah. If they didn't cause depression, I probably would have been doing them still. Look, if you're just gonna fucking five wood it into the into the woods, then just quit. Just quit. It's pretty fucking easy. Stop playing and just quit. Dashing through the snow in a wild horse open sleigh. Oh, here we go, laughing all the way. Thank God, I collect them all. Pokemon. <laughs> mm, I'm a catch them all. Pokemon. All right, I'll try to end it for you. There you go. You don't have to five wood it into the woods anymore. Come on, be something up there. Be like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Albatross. No, just be Condor. Just be a Condor player. Just be Condor. Give me like a nice little like 40, 50 point boost here. Fuck. 
or eagle, and I gained 12 points. Or that. Damn. Oh, I never knew that it said your actual rank behind you. Like it says Albatross. I never noticed that. Uh-oh, everybody logged off. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we found somebody. Whoa! What do we have here? Just stealing my style, huh? Bit by bit. Crazy. I'm on to you, Night Sunrise, okay? We have a gamer. I was hoping it was going to be tonight, but it might not be, Grump. It might not be. Not if we're only getting 12 points. What's up, overrated? How we doing? How you been? Yep, back in the purple site. Been here for been there for a few weeks now. Streams have been very sporadic, but I've been here for for yeah, a little bit, three-ish weeks probably. See, that's what I thought, but then I, I was playing I was playing Albatross people who I had two mile an hour wind, so I think green speeds maybe, but these are only 148s. So I don't even think I don't even think green speed anymore. Like I had a couple of Albatross games where it was wind speed was like three. <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty awesome, aren't they? <laughs> he stole my fit. I don't care what anybody says. I was first for sure. Also, cowboy hat over bucket hat. Okay. Okay. That's the last I knew. Yeah, me too, but I don't I, it doesn't look like that's the case anymore. Cuz 
So yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. What a shot. I'm right there with you. That's how it was before I stopped playing too. That was a, that was a hell of a shot. Lucky it hit the pin, because if it didn't, I don't know if that ball was going to stop. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that was a great shot. That was a wonderful shot. Yeah, this is the 1v1 ranked. Load it. See, okay, I've actually thought about making that video, but at the same time, like, should we be surprised? Like, you would hope that that's what happened. Oh, I mean, the history of this game is pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, where it was and where it is now, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Somebody should do that video. It just ain't gonna be me. Oh boy, I'm just throwing the game away, huh? Fuck. Just get into the fairway and you're already miles above. Oh, how greedy do I get? I think we go max greed, don't we? I'm actually surprised I didn't come out better than that. If I would have done less fade on it, I slowed it too, which didn't help, but maybe I need to do a little bit less fade on it and probably would have got up. Just had to watch out though for not hitting the tree because if I would have hit the tree, that would have been fucking real bad. That's not going to be a gimme putt. We should probably get pretty aggressive here. Maybe a little too aggressive there. I put the pressure on, though. Mm, don't look that bad. Yeah. All right, we get one right back. Such a bad drive. That was just an awful drive.
I'm trying to do it again, huh? Jesus. Eight feet up. Did something wrong there. Is this considered a hard course? No, not really. This person does max loft, max spin, I think, in every sh single shot that they do. Which is good for me. Uh, I mean, you, you choose which stick you want to putt with. I putt with the right. Yeah, you, you choose which one you want. Oh, you might saw like uh, the loft, which you do with both left and right with loft spin or attack angle. Yeah, that's mine. That's just uh, um, stream beats on Spotify. A big shot. Yeah, they definitely uh, just like high loft everything, they high point everything. I don't know. They have they have they get a shit ton of fucking launch angle on their shots. These are pretty soft greens for this round, too. Well, I mean, I was bringing up six iron in but they are soft they're very soft and i think he pushed that a little bit potentially it kind of looked like it all right stadium hole Let's see what you got Door is open. All right, here we go. Come on now.
Please don't make this. Please don't make this. Okay. All right. We get one back. Wow, the stands aren't even full, dude. Ten people here. Oh, that's brutal. Our match can't even fill the stands, dude. Let's see what the wind's like for us here. Bring it over a little bit more, dude. Damn. That was actually... That was actually really, really good. Uh, that was really good distance, distancing, too. To run it down towards the hole. Fuck. Yeah, just a little dude. A hair off. Similar. So that's what the bad thing about like lofting it that much is. Just gets ate up. Please don't chip it in. Okay, the door is actually wide fucking open right now. Yeah, I mean, I'll take this. He's got to make a putt. I don't think it's going to be too bad of a putt, but still got to make it. Just like that. Just like that. GG. GG. Good game. Let's see where they were, because the wind was low. I mean, maybe they were lower? Maybe they were lower. No, they're Condor, see? Yeah, I don't think they do that anymore. Cause that those were softer greens, lower green speeds, and low wind. And they were Condor. That's huge. 85 points away. Oh boy. Oh boy. A Wonka bar. Oh, high and tight shorts with some leggings on. Duos are fun. I would like to play the duos if the ranking system wasn't so poopy playing with friends. If we, if we play two Condor people and beat them, we'd probably get there. Two games. By the way, we're 46 and 1 now? Or no, 45? 46? 46 and 1? Let's see what Wonka Bars have. Let's see if he's got the golden ticket. <clears throat> Do 
Duels are fun because it's just like more variety of shots, you know? Sometimes teammate just fucks it up. Sometimes you fuck it up. Teammate bails you out. I just wish the rank system was a little bit more balanced for that. Because I don't, I just don't like, uh, you know, when I, fuck. I play with Seamount and like he's Condor and we, we pull people who are bogey and par players and just decimate them. Because it has me as bogey three or bogey one. It's actually bogey one. That's just no fun. Zero fun. Yeah, I hope they do something for that for the next iteration of this game. Badly. It should always be to who you're playing with. Top person you're playing with. Like, if you want to play with your Condor friend, you're going to be getting Condor people. And if they don't like that, and, you know, if the your Condor friend is now dropping rank because they're playing with you, then they shouldn't play with you. Like... It should always go to over to the top. Oh my god. I might end up winning this hole. What the fuck? God, this is a tough putt, though. Yeah, it's just I shouldn't, I shouldn't be matching up. Like... Two Condor players shouldn't be matching up against bogey players, you know? Like, that's how it works in Rocket League. It just goes by whoever's the highest. So if you're playing, you know, with your 660 MMR friend and you're a 1200, you're going to be playing two 1200 people in duos. And that is absolutely how it should be. God, Rocket League's ranking system is just so good. That's wild how good it is. Never touched it. I watched a couple of streams of it, and I'm like, yeah, no, definitely not. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. How does that not drop in? Oh. How do you not have melee in a zombie game? Because they just built it three weeks ago. <laughs> that's, that's how. Because they just built it three weeks ago, dude. Also, it was really funny to see a dev... Uh, like There was a developer that came out and was like, uh, we could build what they built in six weeks. Like That's just how bad it was. My favorite thing, the thing that really pissed me off the most, though, is, like, they 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 talked about it as, like, an MMO or, you know, massive, just, like, an online game, and you're going to be seeing people all over the place, and they literally came out with Tarkov. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Like, that was a we-have-a-Tarkov-at-home, you know, situation. God damn, I'm striking the ball really fucking good right now. In the hole. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was all... And, like, uh, 
the people who are like, you know, it's all store bought, like, that's fine. I actually do not care if the entire game is made out of assets. I, like, I give no fucks about that. Like, you can make the entire game out of assets. That's completely fine. It's just, if the game fucking sucks, like, that's when it's a problem. And the game fucking sucked. And for them to come out and, like, we put our blood and sweat and tears into this game for the last five years, it's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. And if you did, it was one person doing it on the weekends. Like, you did not. You did not. That's bullshit. Yeah, they were. They were legitimately just, uh, like, they just pulled gunshot noises out of out of an audio track and threw it in exactly grump a oh, 100% yeah you can you can redo those and add those in as you go 100% you made my year in review right we were only, what, streaming on Twitch for like five months this year? Let's go. Can't remake first touch opinions. Yeah. They should have. I think that would have been awesome if they did. Yeah, the whole game was made with AI. Oh my god. That would have been so good. I mean, all the art and stuff looked like it was. Yeah, I saw that. They could have also sold... Uh, God damn it. They could have also sold... It could have been one of two things. It could have been that they rebranded or that they sold all of their IP to another person. That is another possibility. But more than likely, they rebranded. I'm not wrong. It probably would have been. I haven't lost yet, and it's actually been going really good. We're almost up to Condor. We are currently, I think, 85 points away. We just beat our first official Condor player. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I don't either. Daisy is fun. First uh, computer I ever built was for Daisy. It was a Daisy ESO machine. That is all I played on that computer. I don't think I played anything else on that computer until I got rid of it was just DayZ and Elder Scrolls Online. And that was fucking it. I have to learn how to build a computer someday. It is so easy. Not even memeing. Building a computer is, is so easy. The hardest part about building a computer is cabling. Oh, and making sure like all of your parts will work together, but you can do that just on a website.
I mean, it is kind of like its own. It, like, it takes a certain type of gamer to be into DayZ as well. It is like a, it has its it has its own like little niche. That's true. They do have cabling systems for new machines. You're not wrong. Please just be high up. I know I kind of dumpstered, but just be a fucking Condor player. Works. We'll take it. Yeah, the tiny cable. Yeah, not wrong. Like the fan cabling. The fan cabling was always a fucking nuisance. Lights, like LED light cabling, the, like the little one single pins, like that is annoying for sure. Yeah, RGB can be terrible. Fans too, if you have a lot of them, they can be a problem. And then shit doesn't work. Like why the fuck doesn't the power switch work? Oh, it's because I put the power connector on backwards. You just gotta, like, get in there and grab this little two-pin thing and pull it out and flip it around. Yeah, you can. But, I mean, putting together, it's just, it's just so easy. You can do it all literally outside of the case, and you just put it into the case when you're done. It's just, it's... Putting together a computer is just really easy. Or it's more... I should say it's more daunting than... Or it's less daunting than what people think. Dude, they have gotten so popular that uh, they had to shut down fucking invites. Like, it's not like a, an open beta anymore. It's invite only, which is pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never do, never do the heat seek. But again, that's another thing. That's like it's it seems really daunting, but it's you just put a pea-sized little blip in the middle of a CPU and done. I think the most the scariest thing is putting the CPU into into slot. That's probably the one thing that's like, you know. Because, like, you fuck that up and your CPU shot. <laughs> but, again, they mark everything for you. They even have, like, little clamps that you put the CPU in. And you can just, you literally just go blop. And it just puts it in perfect. Like, there's there's ways around that. But that is probably, like, the, the scariest thing to do. How much does yours cost? Uh, right now, let's see, CPU. <sighs> What'd I pay for that? 300, I think, is when I paid for it. 300, RAM was 140 at the time that I bought it. Because RAM was really fucking expensive when I bought it. PSU was 110. GPU was 700. I don't know, probably 1600 bucks. When I first built the computer, like the case that this is in, when I first built the computer that this case started, uh, it was 2200. Now it's just become Frankenstein. I just uh, buy things as I need them kind of thing. If I had more money, I would probably build a brand new computer, though. I mean, if I had an infinite money glitch, I'd probably build a new computer every every year and give away my old one. Nice shot. The shit, really nice shot. What the fuck?
Yeah, building a new computer is just so much fun. Like the re everything, everything about it, the research going into it, like getting all the parts around, like it's just so much fun. See, the good thing about, like, building new computers now is a lot of the newer cards, like the, the 3,000, 4,000 series cards, they have a lot of future-proofing in place. Um, which is good about having new stuff now. You know, with, like, the 3,000, 4,000, you get, like, DLSS and, like, all the frame generation stuff. Like, that's just stuff that you didn't have. You know, like, my old 1080 Ti. You know, it didn't have that kind of stuff. Like, what you got is what you got, you know? There wasn't no DLSS or frame generation to give you a little extra frames while also making it look still good. I will say, though, this, uh... What do I have? The 4700? It's been a good, pretty good card. What you get for the power draw that it has is actually kind of astonishing. And that's all that matters. As long as you can still play the new shit, then like that's what that's all that matters. Damn. Damn. Well, you're gonna get one here. Chase the ball around. Might not get one back here. That's going to be a pretty nasty putt. I have not. Let me guess they're small and they're also $9,000. That seems to be how it works. Did I butter this home? That's not bad. But they got a four a forty series. Oh shit. Okay. Now you're speaking my language. I feel like even if they had a 4,000, though. If they had a 4,000, though, and they're a mini computer, like, what are they on? Like, a, like what's the CPU that they have, you know? That's what I'd probably be worried about. Because you got to watch out, because you can get a 4,000 series card all you want, but if you're going to get fucking bottlenecked by your CPU, it's worthless. Might not be a bad idea. Don't like it. What the fuck? How do they? How do, wait? How are they getting it so cheap?
1544. We are so close. Oh, I would play solos if I didn't, if the rank system didn't throw me into bogey three. I would play duos. Did I say solos? I meant duos. I would play duos, but ranked has me as a bogey three. Uh, and I just don't feel like dumping all over everybody in duos. I mean, I already did that in solos, and I felt kind of bad about it. Oh, you can absolutely change those easily. Yeah, easily. Nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or like, uh, I just wish that, uh, you know, playing with a condor friend, we just played condors. I mean, maybe they're worried about boosting. I don't know. I just think that that's how it should be. Yeah, which is awful. Yeah, I was playing with Seamount, and that's dude, that's exactly what was happening. Because he's a Condor. So, like, we were pulling... Because I'm bogey three, they were giving us, like, an in-betweeners. So, we were playing, like, par people. I think we played birdie once, and it's like... Me and him are both Condor players. It's just I haven't played in six months. And we just absolutely dumpstered everybody we played. Which is no fun. Zero fun. Like, you should always play people who are about that rank. And if you can't find a game, I don't know, don't be that good at the game then. I, I just, I, I feel like you should always try to get a pretty similar match. Yeah, the game literally... Same thing happened here. I started at a bogey one in solo, and I've... Dude, the first, like, 10, 15 games was just an absolute ass-beating. I'm talking, like, they never even... Like, they didn't even make it to the green, and I was winning the hole. Like, just... Oh my god, he lipped it. Holy shit. Lipped an iced tea. Oh no. Bail me out. Bail me out. No, fuck it. I'll take it. I just played against a guy who took 10 years in every shot. I was up by three, and then he goes on a shooting spree, and I lost. Sometimes it just do be like that. I'll tell you what. I have not lost my putter in the slightest. All right, 42, 14, 72, should be good.
Yep. It was. My guess would be that there was not enough people playing at the time for you to get matched up with two other Condors. Golf games are kind of niche. See, that's what I would think too, Theory, but it's like... I, like, I'm consistently finding within seconds people in Albatross and Condor playing in solos. Now, duos is definitely going to be a little bit more niche, but... I wouldn't doubt if there's 25,000 people logging in every day to to play this ranked mode. And at the same time, it's uh if you got to wait for a game, I think that you should wait for a game. Like if you have a little bit of a longer wait in order to find somebody at least within one rank of you, Condor and Albatross, I think that that should happen. Because if you don't do that, you're ruining somebody else's fun in the game. And like when I get higher up, I don't mind searching for a game. Like I sit and search for Rocket League games for sometimes 30 seconds to a minute. Like, I don't, I don't mind that. Because, like, the last thing I would want, because I'm trying to think, like, let's say I'm playing Rocket League. You know, I'm, I'm champ two in Rocket League. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be too much fun if I get matched up with a gold player to play them. That would suck. You've waited 10 minutes in duos? What the fuck? Holy shit. Man, if that's the case... Fuck, why even have it? That's bad. Like, that's really bad. No, but I'm saying, like, I don't mind waiting a minute. I'm not saying that, you, like, I don't, I wouldn't mind waiting two, three minutes to find a game to actually play against somebody in my own rank. I, I don't want to, I don't want to load into a game and play somebody that's, that I just come in and dumpster for my, my one point of MMR. Like, that's just a waste of time. I'm not comparing Rocket League's player base to PGA's player base. Because that would be silly, because Rocket League fucking dwarfs it. I'm saying, if you're sitting at a Condor, you shouldn't be paired up and playing against pars. I don't care how long it fucking takes to find a match. I mean, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty standard. <laughs> I don't think it will. Well, who knows? It might. I mean, it's already slightly fucked it over since they pulled everybody off Rocket League to make, uh, rocket racing, so... There's always a chance, I guess. Oh, this is bad. Fuck. I pushed it and slowed it. That's a recipe for disaster.
All right, you got to make a putt. No freebies here. Got it. Good putt. Man, there's just so many things that they could do with this game. Like, just do, just think about some of the things, like. You know, they have a little, like, player card. You know, where where your name is. You know, you can do a little player card. Different things sitting in there. Like, you could have, like, a Condor card to let people know that you got Condor. There's so many little things that I think that they could do with the ranked and rewards and stuff that you get. That could make it even, uh... Even more enjoyable experience. Where's the distance? Because this is online. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a, that's a lawn dart right there. You got the gloves? I think all that stuff's good, you know? Like, condor shirt, condor hat. Like, all that stuff I think is, is really good. There's just more things that I think that they could do, for sure. Title cards, different celebrations. Like, there's just, there's a lot. There's a lot that you could do. Yeah, one foot in the water. I think they have to have... They have to have just, like, better rewards tied to ranked. It's kind of weak right now. Like, here, have this fitting. Okay. I mean, thanks. I'm not going to say no to a fitting. But that should just be, you know... Win five games, get a random fitting. Just forever repeatable. Like, give me rewards specific to what I'm achieving. I mean, not to be a dead horse with Rocket League and everything, but... Um... Rocket League gives you boosts and trails and cards and titles and all sorts of shit. All tied to rank. Yes. When's, uh, have they... Is there an official announcement date for the new Wolf Among Us? Because I'm ex I have been waiting for that game since it was announced like three years ago. I am so excited for the second one. God damn it. Wolf Among Us was probably Telltale's best game. Alright, we gotta get closer than that. I did. Well, I guess that's a positive. All right, we're dormy. I mean, look, I have to go for it. I don't have a choice. I, I wish I had a choice, but I don't. So just buckle up.
Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, me too. I mean, I was sad when it didn't get a release date when they announced it 75 years ago. I definitely put the pressure on here. I kind of just like have to go for it now. Motherfucker sizzled it. Alright. Pressure's on. Gotta make her. Tough butt. Low side Larry. God. Fucking not by much, though. Oh, it's close. He has to make this to win it. Because I will probably make that putt coming back. Yeah, Tales from Borderlands wasn't bad. GG. GG. Let's see where he was. Come on. I need like a couple of Condor players here, all right? Come on. Uh-oh. The dreaded connection. God. Honestly, I I liked. We are so close. I liked all I liked all of the Telltale games. I was actually really bummed out when they went out when they went under. And what sucks the most is they went under because of their own stupid decisions. Like they took on like thirty five projects all at once and just ran out of money. It's just so fun. It's just so fucking frustrating. Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> Man, everybody wears those shoes. Everybody. So many people have them. How did who come back from what? You never know, dude. I saw a guy who was Condor who was like 300 and 500. <laughs> it was something fucking crazy. So you never know.
Ooh, dude, back right tucked pin. That's gonna be a shot you're gonna not gonna wanna fuck up. Yeah, do not fuck this shot up. Cause behind this behind this green is death. Oh, You know, that's actually not a bad place to miss. And that's an awful place to miss. shot uh from what I all I from all I know from all they've really stated is it was kind of like a they've just found investors again but from what I understood is the investor, the investors that they found were literally bringing the game back just to do Wolf Among Us. But I don't know, I don't know if that has now changed since then. You're not gonna like that, buddy. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Fucking awesome. Oh, fuck you, game. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's literally a, a, an RNG simulator on how the lie is. Just because of the way that the designer works with... Uh, fairways running into... Yeah. Fuck. I'll pro I will more than likely do Wolf Among Us when it comes out. I'll probably play the first one again. Yeah, I forgot all about that. I've literally, I have done that before. Been in that same situation and had the ball come out like that before. Damn, that sucks. If this person is Condor, though, which they could absolutely be. If we win, we should have the points that we need.
First step, though, is to win. I need another, I need another blow up like we had on 10. Revan. Come on now. No. No, I don't need good shots, okay? I need blow up shots. Blow up shots. Just hook one into the sander. That's 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 not hooking it into the sand. <laughs> Get in the hole. Oh. Damn. There's a lot of straight ass putts on this course. Three holes in a row. Man hasn't had to move it an inch. Just straight into the cup. Wolf Among Us is phenomenal. Like if you like Telltale games and what they like what they did. Personally, I think Tell Wolf Among Us is the best Telltale game. The best game that Telltale ever made. Subjective, of course, but uh, I thought it was phenomenal. Everything about it was great. Which is why I was so, I was, dude, I was, I don't want to say devastated, but I was really sad when Telltale went under. Because Wolf Among Us 2 is never going to happen then. Yeah, Toe's a boss. Oh, uh, no, I think it's on consoles too. A not straight putt. Here we are. Buttered it. Dude's got a flat stick. Honestly, I don't think there's a single character in Wolf Among Us that I do not enjoy. Like, this, everything's great about it. The writing's really good. It's just so good. Make me want to play the first one again. I, mean, I haven't played it in years. Still got it in my Steam library. I mean, 
I got all the, all the Telltale games in my Steam library. I've played every single one of them. Oh, even Back to the Future. Yep. Yeah, I have them all. I think I I think I legit have them all in my Steam library. What was that? Oh, my phone died. <laughs> like, Jesus, why did it make that loud noise? Oh, door is cracked open potentially. That is not gonna be an easy putt. Okay. We do have to keep this right though. Do not want to be left here. Oh, I fasted it. Oh no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, that that first hole was tough for him, but he is. He is uh He's sticking around. He's been playing well, too. He's had a couple really nice putts, really nice shots. Gonna be hot. I was gonna say it's gonna be high, but uh, no, my man bent that like Beckham straight in. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, all right. Fuck me. <laughs> you just gotta, you know, take the cap off and tip it. It's holy shit. Man's really putting the pressure on. Holy. Okay. Me. Gotta really dial in for these. <laughs> Christ. Making me fucking work for it. Not the Willy Wonka shirt? Man, all comes down to 18 of Sawgrass? And if not, we're probably going right back to that uh, par three we just played. Big shot here. Oh, water. <laughs> yeah, 
even better. True. He might have fucked her. I don't know what that putt's gonna look like. I mean, it's it's not gonna be hard, but it's definitely not gonna be a gimme. Oh, I really fucked her. Oh my god. Well then. Well then. Just gotta make this putt. Damn, a damn. I had a chance. Miss it. If this guy's Condor, then it's literally going to be... I was going to say, it's going to be like the 899 curse in MLB The Show, where it's like you're 899, you get a chance to get fucking World Series, and you just absolutely shit the bed. Throwing into extras. He's got honors too, so we get to see what he shoots. Here we go! We're going back to, back to 17. Oh, I got, why do I have it? Wait, why do I have honors? I fast it. Jeej. G fucking G. Fuck. Oh, he did too. He's going to be closer, but I just got to make this. Holy fuck, this putt. Now it's Jeej. Now it's Jeej. Fuck, or maybe not. There's no way he's missing that. All right. Man, good game. Really good game. I had every chance in the world to win that, too. That big putt he made was kind of huge. Like the fucking 47 footer bending putt. Can't wait for him to be a fucking par and I lose 70 points. Yeah. We probably would, it probably would have been enough. I don't know, it would have been close. 
Oh, we'll never know. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Greatly appreciate you all. We are out of here for the night. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all very much. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I mean, I'll probably start with this. Get Condor, uninstall, and I don't know, probably go play Rocket League or something. That's probably going to be the plan. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice-covered